Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Hedegger. Um, today I'm going to be doing some styling tips this morning on the Irma tunic and some different ways. A lot of people are very interested in how to change up their Irma. Um, a lot of people know the Irma from just wearing a pair of leggings and the tunic or maybe wearing it with a pair of skinny jeans. So um, this morning I want to talk a little bit about the Irma tunic. Maybe you've tried it, maybe you haven't tried it because you think, wow, that thing looks so big. She keeps telling me to downsize two sizes. I don't believe it, um, but I wanted to kind of give you some different ideas today. So this morning, um, this is, we're going to show, talk about the Irma tunic. Again, the Irma is a, is a tunic. The way LuLaRoe designed it was that the sleeves would be tighter. Why did they design it so the sleeves would be tighter? Well, one is they knew that the, the body throughout the trunk area was going to be larger as well as the back goes down and is full. Um, and they did want to have that typical tunic, I'm gonna cover my backside, cover all those things in the center, and have that frumpy kind of look. So what they wanted to be able to do is really kind of come up with a tunic that doesn't just cover and give you that tunic feel, but also streamline you and make you look a little bit trendy so we don't look like kind of like mommy frumpies going on here. So um, you all know the Irma tunic, so I'm gonna show you some couple different things. I'm gonna be using my, my mannequin right here um, to give you guys kind of an idea um, of how to wear your Irma tunic. So the classic way, as I mentioned, and I'm sorry, I will have to go in and out of the screen just because of, I'm by myself, so we got the best thing going on here, um, myself and my mannequin. So the, a lot of times you see the Irma tunic styled with um, Cassie skirts as well. Cassie is our typical pencil skirt, which I have on my mannequin today. You can simply just wear that over any kind of clothing and then you get that nice draped look in the back. Now the only, the only difference is, and I'm just gonna move my camera back a little bit, I thought I got it right, so that you can see the bottom, is that we're gonna wear it a couple different ways today. One of the ways that you can kind of, just kind of doll up your Irma, whether it's for um, wearing at, over leggings, wearing over a pair of maybe like skinny jeans, or um, a pair of tighter shorts, or I know myself, I like wearing some slim lined um, leg shorts that are a little bit longer, so the tunic really works well with that, is to consider something like a hair tie or a rubber band. I have two right here. Oftentimes, about like twice a month when we have our pop-ups and we give you your customer reward cards, you know, your buy 10, get one program, we usually put hair ties in there. And sometimes you might be thinking, hey, Michelle and Karen, I don't have long hair. I don't wear my hair up. Um, you can wear them for other things. Um, you can style a bunch of your tops that way and even your skirts, which we'll talk about. Um, hopefully every week I can do this. But one thing you can do is take those hair ties we give you. You can, before you put your arm on, you can go to kind of like the base, which would be like the base of like your back. What you do is, and again, you'd be doing this before putting it on, is you're gonna just gather it. I would say you're gonna gather about an inch to two inches. Hopefully you can all see that in the camera. And you're just gonna twist your hair tie around it. When you're done twisting, you're then gonna put it on, and what you'll see is, and you can give it a little tug here and there, depending on how you twisted it evenly. You have a nice, and if you can kind of see, I'll bring her a little bit closer to you. And again, it's on a mannequin, so it's a little harder to see, but you're gonna see you get these nice lines. It's almost like a fan look which gives you a little more of a streamlined look in the back. That's one of the nice ways to be able to do that. And again, that was just taking a simple hair tie, tying it underneath, and getting that look. Uh, that also really works well for the Julia, too. Um, you can do it on the side, gives you that nice fan look. You can also, if you're daring, you can also take it and do it in the, on, on this side. Again, you would take it, gather it. In this case, I'm gonna do a little bit shorter tie it two or three times. You don't want it to fall it out as you wear it. Depends on how good your rubber band is. And then you're going to get a nice fan look there too. And just going to give you a completely different look. You can also, that's not for you, one of the other simpler ways people um, like to wear their Irmas is by taking it and just tying it in in a simple knot. Again, these are very simple, easy ways to wear it still in a tunic style, over a pair of leggings, over a Cassie skirt, whatever you choose. Whoops, I didn't do the best knot there. And you don't want your tag sticking out either. I'm kind 
control. And you're just going to pull that through into a simple knot. Okay? And that's going to give you a little bit of a different look. Again, it's a little harder with the mannequin because their bodies are not like ours. Obviously, we have legs. <laughs> they do not. But you get kind of an idea of how that would look. And this would be a little more lower billowy because the body would pull it out. Um, one of the other ways of doing it is taking um, a completely different look. So you can easily... Um, I actually have an Irma on today, so I'm going to stand in front of the camera. Um, you can see this kind of a nice, tighter fitting, simple, skinny look that I've chosen actually to wear with my Madison today tucked in. Now, I, I highly recommend you can do it and get that full body look. So even in her, we can tuck this in. A lot of people are thinking it's summertime. I'm wearing more skirts. You know, I want to go to Maxi's, Madison's, wear my Cassie's with a pair of sneakers or sandals. You can still do that. Irma's are not just for the winter and the fall. So if you tuck her in, excuse me, miss, I gotta get your skirt, your dress down. You can just take this, tuck it in, use what you currently have in your wardrobe. All of you probably have an Irma already. Blouse it out a little bit. It's nice because you get this nice look here. It's kind of that nice billowy look. I actually wear a large in the Irma, and this is an extra small. Um, last weekend was my daughter's birthday, and I wanted to wear a skirt, and I didn't have a white, and I really wanted to wear something with <laughs> I didn't have anything in my size. White is not, hasn't come into my size yet, and I sold this extra small on the rack down in my basement when I was doing laundry, and I'm like, I'm putting that on, and it fit, so here you go. <laughs> so you can downsize to get more of a fitted, streamlined look, or you can take your, your regular size Irma that you would wear, again, if you're like a regular large, then you would wear a small. If you're a medium, you would wear an extra small. If you're a small, you wear an XX extra small, and so forth, so forth. Always downsize too, um, unless you're in between sizes. But you can easily just take this, blouse it out. You get a nice blouse look, and then put on a nice belt. You don't even have to do a belt. You could do a skinny belt. You can have a completely different look. But you're still using the same armor that you have in your closet. That's what's wonderful about it. Uh, another thing you can do, which now we're going to get her unchanged a little bit. Whoop. You can go for a completely different look. So you can go for like a bigger look. So if you want to upsize, this is a large, so you just get an idea. You can actually upsize your Irma. And again, it's a little always harder to see on a mannequin because Clothes don't always flatter the mannequin as well as they flatter you. You can put a skinny belt around it or a thick belt just to get a quick idea. I'm just going to slip that through. And then give yourself a blouse step look. Then you're going to have a completely, entirely different look. And I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not standing in front of her. But you're going to have a completely different look. You can even upsize all the way up to something that's a larger, larger size and get a similar kind of dress feel. So before I take her Cassie off, um, let me show you kind of what this would be if you decided to wear it as a dress. So this is a large, I'll take her skirt off. Um, you can upsize, I would say upsize, if you normally wear um, an Irma and let's say a small, I would at least go with a large um, because that means you wear a large normally. Um, you can even upsize extra large, it depends on how big of a look you want. Um, so if you wanna get more of that kind of dress feel um, there's a couple different ways of doing it. Um, and I think these are great for summertime, especially like beach cover-ups or if you're on vacation in the islands. I know a few of you I've seen on Facebook lately are, are like in Mexico and all, and I'm like, oh, I wish I was there right now. We have so much rain in Pennsylvania, um, and we still have more coming. But you can easily just take it off the shoulders, and you can do two different things with it. You can take it, and again, I would recommend this with a either more... Um, Solid print or more consistent print. You don't want anything that, maybe something like this wouldn't work because you're gonna have maybe too much contrasting. So you want something that has more of a consistent print or a smaller print throughout. If you have prints where there's a flower here, a flower there, when you pull the sleeves over, you're gonna have a funky look. It might not work. Um, so like this is a nice diagonal blue on blue, size large. And basically, you're going to take the arms, hopefully you guys can see, 
put them on blocking, and you're just going to do a simple tie in the front. I'm just going to stand in front of her for a second. I'm trying to demonstrate, but and then you're just going to do a simple tie in the front. You can then take this, do it nice. You can put a pin in there if you want to. If you really like the way that little tie goes, then you may want to tuck this in and pin it. Because if you tuck this down and pin it, then you're going to have this nice, and I don't have a pin on me right now, so I'm going to try to, to still get that look. But if you tuck that in, then you're still going to have that nice look here. And what you can do is, if you had a pin, you could easily pull that other piece down. And what you have, and I'm just going to try to tuck this tag away, is a really nice, cute little bow looking dress. Isn't that lovely? A little short for my taste, you can put a little pair of um, shorts underneath, you can put a pair of leggings. Um, again, like I said, I think this is like a perfect, really quick beach cover up. Um, you can see in the back, you just need to make sure that the back is straight and you have a really nice look. It gives it a nice little fitted look. So again, for this, you're going to upsize. The other thing you can do, this was the front, is you can take the back. So what we're going to do with that is take the sleeves again and just carry it around the back. You know, you want to get your line straight. Same concept, you can pin it, which would definitely hold it in for you. You don't want it to come undone and then you have little sleeves hanging out. <laughs> um, and then you're going to get a simple look here. And I'll just try to tuck that tag in a little bit. So you have a nice, easy back, but then in the front, look how cute, isn't that darling? I love that. And that, all that was was just taking those sleeves and tying them. Again, I would use kind of safety pins or something. This you want to upsize. Um, you can try it with what you have, but I think it would be too slim, um, wearing your true Irma size, which again is two sizes down. Um, so you really want to upsize for this one. And I just want to let you know, I, I can't really see the questions because it's a little further away. So if you're asking questions right now at the end, I'll ask you if you have questions. Okay, so that was one cute way of being able to style your Irma a little differently, especially for the summertime, that's perfect. You can even do it now, maybe wear a jean jacket or wear um, a Lindsay cardigan or a Monroe. Well, there's more, I'll keep showing you more, hold on. Let's see, what do I have here that I can match together? I'm going to do some pattern mixing because I think that's a lot of fun. I'm taking these extra small Irma's um, and I'm going to create a dress out of them. The first one I'm going to put on is this really pretty. I think this is just gorgeous. I don't think it photographs as well. It's got a nice um, like mint color and the gold together with black. Nice kind of paisley kind of print. I'm going to put that on backwards. Yes, backwards. Are all dressed up, straightened up. Okay, so now we're wearing a backwards Irma. You can do this. I mean, you could even wear this out technically if you want it lower and higher in the back, and most of us don't want that. <laughs> That's why we choose the Irma. Um, so we're going to take that, and then we're going to take another Irma. I recommend doing this. You can do this with your current Irmas, or you can even go down just one size instead of going down two to kind of get this. Or you can, if you want a really baggy, billowy look, um, you can you can go higher. That's what's really cool and one of the reasons why we choose in our albums to put things in all in one album instead of sizing them is most of us will wear different sizes. Like I told you, I'm wearing an extra small Irma right now because I wanted a fitted tee look. But I wear a size large Irma if I want a regular traditional tunic look. Um, so it's really important that um, you kind of get an idea. And some people like to wear two different sizes. If you see that little print you really want in one size, just grab it. <laughs> so I'm going to put this Irma, I put the other one on backwards, and I'm going to put this Irma regular. So this one's facing forward, tag in the back. What you get up here is a really nice look. So we have just that pop of color, and I'm going to maybe move her a little closer so you can see. You get that nice pop of color up top, and then what you do is you get a little bit of a dress look. So here's the front and the back, and there you have a nice, great, easy sheath dress. And all you did was take your, your, your ermines that you currently have, match them up. You can do a solid erma underneath. I know some people like that. Um, I'm using a stripe here. We could have easily reversed it and did the stripes underneath and the um, paisley on top. But it gives you a kind of a different way. Now if we take the back, you'll kind of see here, all you see is the top pattern because that other one's too short. 
So you really just have that peekaboo look in the front. And then the straight look in the back. So that's a nice way to do that. You can upsize that too. Um, I want to give you kind of an idea of different upsize looks. So I'm going to kind of take her, this off. Again, these are extra smalls I have, I believe, on my mannequin. And I think my mannequin is kind of like a small, um, small medium, I would say, her size is. Um, one of the other things you can do, as I mentioned, is to go up. Armors now go up to size 3X. They're extra, extra small to 3X. Um, and 3X is really big, because if you consider we're always telling people to downsize, um, that's a really big shirt. Um, so this is that. My husband says they're pirate shirts. He says pair of leggings, you can make them into pirate shirts. <laughs> they kind of do. So if you're thinking about Halloween, you see something cool that you think would make a great pirate, you want to be a pirate. <laughs> you might want to do that. Anyway, so this is an upsize. This is a 3X. That is one big shirt. Yes. However, um, this is even bigger on me. And remember, I wear like a, a XL to a 2XL. I'm um, like a 16, 18 on top. And I wear a large Irma tunic. For a while there, I thought I couldn't wear Irmas. Um, I put them on and I was like, oh, this just is not me. I'll stick with my perfect tees. Got a little makeup on today. Um, they were the best for me. And then I found a pattern that I really liked and it was large. I said, I'm going to try it on. And then I realized, wow, I was not following my rules. <laughs> you need to downsize too. Um, but in this case, for a larger look, you really want that kind of fun, funky dress feel. I think you can wear this really cute, like this one has a nice kind of teal color in it. I would wear nice solid teal leggings or gold leggings with a pair of booties. Um, you know, with this in a larger pattern, see how big that is? But I put a belt on with it. So you can wear this, wear a thick, thick belt. Oops, where's your arms? And you can see my mannequin again is like really a size small to a size medium. So you're gonna get a completely different look. But with something skinnier on the bottom, you really have something fun. So sometimes you want to kind of go out of your comfort zone. You don't want to go to your true size. So if you wear a medium, you know your Irma tunic size is extra small. You don't want to go up to a medium. You want to go larger. Why not try the large or extra larger for your medium? If you usually wear a medium and an Irma, you may want to try the 2X or the 3X. You're going to get this completely billowy, fun look that looks great with a pair of, you know, stressed jeans. Um, great with a little pair of um, jeans cut up shorts in the summer. Um, you can wear it with your leggings. You can wear it with um, a tighter fitting like a Cassie skirt. But it's going to give you a completely different look. So that's another fun thing you can do. So I kind of talked a little bit about, we did the Irma, I don't know how many different ways, but we did an, a traditional Irma with a Cassie skirt. We tucked the Irma in like I have it here. Um, and that's wonderful, especially as we're getting into skirt season. A lot of times people ask me, what kind of shirt should I wear with my skirts? Well, Randy's are good because they have that fitted look. Um, perfect tees are good if you tuck them in, um, unless you're wearing them with a Cassie. I think that the, um, and we'll talk about perfect tees in another couple weeks. I think that you have to tuck them in with the other shirts. Otherwise, you got two like bellowy looks. Um, classic tees are perfect with all the skirts, tucked in or out. And the Arma can be. You know, I showed you in the beginning the Irma tunic with a Cassie skirt, a pencil skirt out, but I also showed you it tucked in. Shows you also with a belt. We took one of the hair, hair ties um, that we often give you for hostess awards. We took the back, we tied it into a knot, put a rubber band around it, and we had that nice band look in the back. We tied a bow in the side, we tied a knot in the side. That's another cute look. A lot of people try that even with a maxi skirt because it slims it out a little bit and gives you that more bohemian relaxed look. Um, what was the next thing we did? Um, then we took the Irma, we upsized, and we tied it in the front to get that nice um, kind of a dress cover-up look that you could certainly wear with, with um, leggings or a pencil skirt or shorts or um, as a beach cover-up. We also tied it in the back to get you more of that streamlined look in the front with the tie in the back. And then we did the upsized look. We combined both two Irmas one underneath, worn backwards, 
and then the other one would have worn forwards. And you can do that in the Irmas that you have in your closet today. And that gives you kind of that cool dress look. You got that peekaboo of a, maybe a fun pattern or a solid in the front, and then also in the collar line. And then um, last but not least, I think I covered all of them. I gave you an ultra upsize look. Take those fun ones that we're getting in, in those extra large 2X and 3X patterns, put a belt on those, and give yourself a completely just, you know, um, fun, free-spirited look. So I'm gonna see if you have any questions um, for anyone that joined us live today. Before I say goodbye and get my Saturday on. Anybody? And because Facebook Live, as live as it is, is always slightly delayed, um, I'm gonna say goodbye. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comments. I'll try to go back and read. Um, we're gonna try to do this um, once a week, um, maybe on either Friday, Saturday, or